assumed that when adults with smartphones are randomly selected, 41% use them in meetings or classes. If seven adult smartphone users are randomly selected, find the probability that exactly three of them use their smartphones in meetings or classes. Okay, so in this problem, uh, we have a binomial probability question. The reason we know that is because there are two choices. People either use their smartphones or they do not use their smartphones. And this 41%, that's P. Okay, so P is the probability of success. So in decimal form, that's 0.41. They usually have to give you this in the binomial questions. And usually it's a decimal or a percentage. That's, that's a typical way to know. And then N is always the bigger number. So N here is 7. That's the total number of trials, right? We have seven adult smartphone users. And whether or not each user uses a smartphone is a trial. So in this problem, success means they use the smartphone. That's because that's what we care about, right? We care about people using their smartphone. So it says find the probability, so big P, that exactly three of them use their smartphones in meetings or classes. So X is going to be the number of people who use their smartphones. Remember, X is successes. So X is exactly three. So exactly means equals three. Okay, good stuff. So you find N, you find P. This says exactly, so you know it's equals. Now all you do is go to StackCrunch. So you click on where it says question help, and then click on StackCrunch. Number N is always the bigger number. Then you go to stat, calculators, binomial. Again, it's, I do it again. So click on question help, go to where it says stat crunch. Then you go to stat, calculators, and then you go to binomial. It's the second one. Then you have this beautiful table. So N here is seven. We said P was 0.41. Then here you have the P, you have the X. So have to change this to equals and then put a three here. So P of X equals three. Everything looks okay. We have our N, we have our P, we have the P, the X, we have the equals, it's equal to three like we said it was. You click compute, boom, there's the answer. Let's see how many decimals the question wants. It wants four decimals. So 0.2923 should be the answer because the nine rounds up the, the two. You gotta be really careful with the rounding. So 0.2923, let me write that down. So 0.2923, okay, let's type it in. 0.2923, that's it.